because when I was in school, elementary school, when I came here, the Iran hostage crisis happened, right? And everybody knew that I was from Iran. I didn't word, speak a word of English, right? And they were showing the Iran hostage crisis. Like it, 80% of the news was Iran hostages, American hostages, American hostages. And I got into a lot of fights in elementary school. And I was a little kid in elementary school, but I never backed down from a fight. It's weird. Like people said, Chicho, we knew you. You were, you always, you were always in a fight. I just didn't understand bullying, right? So I wouldn't take it, right? But I got in fights with people, kids in elementary school, because I was from the country that was holding American hostages and Iran bad, <laughs> Putin bad, Iran bad, right? But to me, what they were portraying on TV was bullshit, right? And I wasn't what they were showing. My family wasn't what they were showing. None of the friends that they had, Iran is, they were showing. None of the so-called facts that they were spewing on TV was facts that I was hearing. So I would look at these people. They, they would go, Iran, are you a terrorist? There was one time, one time, this kid. Now, I'll tell you the story. I think I've told this story before, but I'll tell this story because it's, it's funny as fuck, right? And just imagine, the guy was big, right? So I was in a classroom. I was in grade five, I think, halfway the end of grade five. But I didn't speak a word of English, right? I, I think I, I thought, how are you meant hello, right? I would go around, how are you? How are you? How are you, right? So I was in class, back at a class, and Canada has a bully issue. It's not a recent thing. Western culture, I think, has a bully issue. In, in Iran, you don't get bullies like this. Man, you bully someone in Iran, a kid, if families get involved, you, you know, blood could be shed. So people don't bully because but not a good idea, right? But bullying in Canada was the, a prominent thing. It's like, it's weird. Okay. So I was in the back of the class and this big guy with two guys, two smaller guys beside him, right? It, it's like classic bullying thing you see TV, right? And he went up to another kid that used to get bullied. He was a little guy, glasses. And the big guy put his hand out, right? Like this. So the little guy, you know, that used to get bullied, he's like, oh, hi, shook his hand. And this big guy took his hand, twisted him, and put his hand behind his back and pulled up his hand. And the other guys was laughing and he was laughing. And the little kid was, ah, oh, I was doing this. I was like, damn, I watched this. I went, what the fuck, right? <laughs> That's fucking weird, right? You do that in Iran, you might have someone come and be fucking knock you silly, right? You don't do that. And the guy, they laughed, ha ha ha, joked around, and they went out the front of the class door. There was two doors, one in the back, one in the front, right? And then I was doing playing in the back. I don't know what I was doing. I was a fucking kid, right? And then the big guy with the two guys came to the door from the back door, and they came up to me, right? I was like, what the fuck? And the big guy put out his hand. And I looked at his hand. I go, what the fuck? And at the time, the hostages were taken. I was watching news and shit like this. I shit you not. I shit you not. This is what I did. I went, looked at him. Looked at the two guys. Like, I went, you Canada. Me, Iran. Iran, Canada. I did this. They went like this. I shit you fucking not. They went like this. And they went, ha, 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 ha. They backed out and they left. Those, those guys never bullied me again. Ever. Right? Ever. Okay. That's why you stand up to bullies. Don't let them get away with that fucking shit. You might get hurt. I might have been hurt. Right? I might have been hurt. But doesn't fucking matter. Okay, doesn't fucking matter.